Voting in Ramsey County occurs in precinct polling places. Voters must vote in the polling place that is assigned to their residence. Ramsey County has more than 170 polling places. Your precinct will have several types of judges on election day. Each precinct has one head judge, at least one registration judge, and several precinct judges. The head judge is the manager of the polling place and is in charge on election day. The registration judge acts as an assistant manager and is in charge of properly registering voters. All other judges at the polling place are precinct judges and are assigned by the head judge to act as a greeter judge, a roster judge, or a ballot judge. Additional types of election judges. A small number of mobile judges start the day at Ramsey County elections and will be sent to a polling place as needed during election day. A ward judge is assigned between 10 and 15 polling places and will visit each one periodically during the day to ensure that the election day operations are running smoothly. Ward judges will also deliver supplies and election materials to the polling place as necessary or requested and are a good resource for information or assistance on election day. Please make the proper prior arrangements, such as child care or pet care, so that you can devote your attention to your precinct on election day. Election day is long, so remember to bring food for lunch and dinner if you are serving a full day. Breaks to take care of personal matters cannot be guaranteed, especially in busier election years. If you are not serving at the polling place where you vote, remember to vote your absentee ballot before election day. Absentee voting can be done in person at Ramsey County Elections or through the mail. On Election Day, judges are prohibited from certain activities and from having certain items. Please do not bring any newspapers, magazines, radios, or televisions. They can potentially contain political material. Please do not use cell phones in the polling place. If you need to make a call, step outside. Election judges cannot wear any political clothing or have any political items with them on Election Day. Election judges cannot bring, conceal, or carry firearms in the polling place. If you have any questions about what you can or cannot bring, please ask your head judge or call our office. Remember to arrive at the polling place at 6 a.m. When you arrive, take a moment to meet your fellow election judges. The head judge will administer the election judge oath and assign you to an opening task. The polling place contact sheet List the location where the polling place election materials were stored upon delivery. Let's go over the different supplies that will be in the polling place. The green box contains all general polling place supplies. The canvas bag will arrive with the head judge. The canvas bag contains supplies that are specific to your precinct. The blue transfer case contains all the miscellaneous forms and envelopes. The ballot counter rests on the black ballot box. A six-foot privacy perimeter must be set up around the ballot counter with blue tape. Fill out the certification form for the ballot counter and ensure that the seal number is the same as when it left the Ramsey County Elections Office. For more information on opening the ballot counter, please see the ballot counter video. Setting up the ballot marking device, otherwise known as the auto mark, should be completed by two election judges. The AutoMark is an accessible voting device that is used to help voters independently mark their ballot. A six-foot privacy perimeter must be marked around the ballot marking device. Ensure that the screen for the AutoMark is facing in a direction that helps maintain voter privacy. Complete the certification form of the AutoMark. Set up the voting booths. One or more must be at table height to accommodate voters who would like to sit while they complete their ballot. Make sure that the booths are set up far enough apart to provide privacy to the voters. There are a number of signs that must be posted in and near the polling place. The Vote Here sign and the U.S. flag must be posted outside the polling place building. Post signs that mark the route to the polling room and also post signs that mark the accessible route to the polling place room if this is an alternate route. Signs defining voter eligibility must be prominently displayed. Finally, be sure to reserve voter parking spots if this is necessary for your polling location. Some of these spots may already have been marked by Public Works. The transfer case polling place ballots contains all ballots that are specific to your precinct. Fill out the certification form for the polling place ballots to confirm that the number of packs of ballots received is correct. 
Before ballots can be used by voters, they must be initialed by two judges of different major political parties. At the very beginning of the day, there is usually a small rush of voters, and the head judge will determine a sufficient amount of ballots to be pre-initialed before the polls open, and will assign two judges to complete this task. Prepare your rosters for voting. The rosters will be delivered to your polling place by 6.30 a.m. When they arrive, separate the registered roster from the non-registered roster. Break up the registered roster into smaller subdivisions by last name. For example, many precincts have a binder for A through L, and then a separate binder for last names starting with M through Z. One of the most important tasks while opening the polling place is to confirm that the ballot counter, rosters, and ballots are correct and specific to your precinct. To complete this task, compare the tape that prints from the ballot counter to the precinct label at the top of the roster, and the precinct label at the bottom of your polling place ballots. Voting must begin at 7 a.m. at all polling locations. If you are unable to access or set up your polling place before 7 a.m., Call your ward judge and Ramsey County Elections so that you can get an emergency voting kit to your polling location. All of these tasks are explained in great detail in the Polling Place Reference Guide.